Today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Pale Tools, which allows you to build hundreds of player picks and packs in a matter of minutes. So just for the video, does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. First, I've just run you what Pale Tools is. Pale Tools is basically a Google Chrome extension. So it's not something for console, it's something for the web app or the mobile. So then what you do is you download it on your Google Chrome. So then basically what happens is you just press hotkeys on your keyboard and what it'll do is it'll auto build the SBCs. It does this via just going into the back door of the web app. Now I can't guarantee you won't get banned, I can't guarantee nothing bad will happen down the line. I'm not affiliated with the company whatsoever. All I've been doing is using it while streaming because generally I could sit there for hours off stream building packs or generally taking about 10 minutes to go and build hundreds of picks and packs. There is also an Android extension you can use for the companion app, but as a normal member of society, I do not own an Android. So as a result, I'll only be covering how to use it on the web app. So before you download Pell Tools, you actually need to download something which allows you to download Pell Tools and that's called Tamper Monkey. And to download Tampa Monkey, what you do is going to click on the extensions at the top of your Google Chrome, and then you're going to scroll down to the bottom at Manage Extensions. Once here on the far left, it will show you Discover More Extensions, basically just taking you to the Extensions Store, and in which you're going to click on this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put in the top right Tampa Monkey and search it, and then proceed to install the top one right here with 71k reviews. Once you've downloaded Tampa Monkey, then all you've got to do is just go and Google Pale Tools, in which you'll go and click on the home of Pale Tools. What you can then go to click on is Pale Tools V24, the other one's the Android extension, like I said, I won't be covering this video, so we're just going to be going to the Pale Tools web extension. Once you've clicked on the web page, it'll then give you the lyrics Despacito. What you're going to do is click on the one that says Click Parrot in Stella. Now, there used to be something where you could translate this into English, but, you know, apparently Brexit got through. So just click on where it says Pell Tools Tampa Monkey, because believe it or not, that's the one you've got to use if you want to download Pell Tools with Tampa Monkey. Once you've clicked on the link, it'll then take you to this web page. Obviously, you guys aren't going to reinstall it. You'll install it because I already own it. It's just going to say to reinstall. Once you've downloaded Power Tools, you need to reopen FIFA. For example, if you already had the web app open before you downloaded all this stuff, you now need to reopen it. Once you've reopened it, it's going to look extremely daunting. There's loads of stuff. Don't worry about it. That's just how it looks. There's a few things at the top here, but I don't really care about these. This is wide mode, I guess, if you care about the bars being wider and everything being easier to navigate. Maybe you do that. If not, it doesn't really make any difference. So more likely than not, you've clicked on this video for SBCs, but I'm sure it's got loads of other features, some of which might be dodgy, so some sniping things, profit things. So I'll be honest with you, I don't touch that stuff whatsoever. Uh, I say I'm a trader, I don't really need extensions and analogs to go and make coins. You know, so experienced that I just know what's going to go up in investments, trading methods, blah, blah, blah. No one really cares. So what we care about is SBC. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on SBCs. Uh, let's go and pick a upgrade SBC we want to go and do. We're going to pick an SBC to go and complete. Let's say I want to go and complete 50 of these 80 player picks in about five minutes. So how we're going to go around doing it, that is we're going to go and click on this. And so what we're going to now use is we're going to use the edit SBC template. And that's going to take us here. Now what this is, is this is basically what it's going to put into the SBC every single time. So for this one, I need to go and use one rare and six players. So what I'm going to go and put in the template is I'm going to go add, and we're going to start off by adding the rare. Now, obviously, you guys might have high-rated fodder in your club. You, you know, you want to do SBCs. So what you can do is you can choose what fodder you use up to. Let's say, for example, I want it to use up to an 83-rated rares. I can do that. Personally, even 84 red rares are relatively useless nowadays. So what I do is I go 75, because obviously that's the minimum of a gold rare, maximum 84. We're then going to go quality to gold. We'll go and set that to rare. And that, oh, player count one. Because of course the SBC needs one rare. So that's what we can do there. Now you want to click ignore player positions. This is basically means they'll put a goalkeeper in right back. Because you don't need any chemistry in these SBCs, you're just going to select that. Now if you wanted to, and for some reason keep top five leagues, maybe you're doing the league SBC over and over again, you can choose non-important leagues only. Which as a result from ticking that, it just basically means it doesn't use any of the top five leagues. So now if I was to leave it at this, it's basically just going to keep on building the SBC, but only just putting one rare. It needs to go and put the rest of the players in to complete the SBC. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to add, and you're going to basically do the exact same thing. So we're going to go 75 rating. Again, I'll go and use up to 84, you can use whatever you want. And because there's six players in the SBC, we've already got one rare, we're going to go put five. Now what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to go gold, we're going to go down here to non-rares, and we're going to go ignore positions again. And again, we don't really care about what league it used. We're now going to say press save. So it's thrown us back out here, and this is where the beauty is. Now all I've got to do is press the letter T, 
and it is going to go and auto build the SBC. You see, I always put one rare in there and five non rares. And all I've now got to do is press submit and it'll go and build the SBC. And now what I can do is go to the player pick, press T, and it's going to build the whole SBC. And it will continue allowing you to build SBCs until you've either the run out of players or done, I believe it's about 100 SBCs an hour. Now, after doing about 100 SBCs an hour, it's going to say, SBC ban. Now you're not banned from anything whatsoever. EA basically puts limits in their game to stop there being exploits. Not so much exploits like this, but let's say there was an exploit where you can keep on submitting SBCs, but it never removes the players from your club. And if there was an exploit like that, they're like, well, we don't want you complete an unlimited amount of SBCs. We'll limit you to doing 100 SBCs in an hour because maybe we'll fix it within an hour. So you're not banned whatsoever when you go and complete like 100 SBCs in the hour. What it is, is it's limits that exist in the game. Limits exist in the game with listing stuff, buying stuff, uh, playing games. There's limits absolutely everywhere. And there's also limits in completing SBCs. Now, there's no way around this. You know, some people are like, oh, play a game. No, nope, that's not how this gets. That's not how it works. You can't go and like jump on the companion app, go and do an SBC, then come back here. That's not how it works. Basically, again, you can do about 100 SBCs every hour. Okay, so 100 SBCs every 60 minutes. But there's also the second limit in the game. Again, these aren't exact numbers. These are give or take. The second limit is about 2,000 SBCs you can do every 24 hours. Now, the observing of you will see that, well, you know, that's not a exact ratio. What this ends up happening is there ends up being like two sort of suspensions on doing SBC. The first one is, let's say I did the 100 SBCs in 40 minutes time, right? What I would be is I'd then be suspended for the remaining 20 minutes. Because again, you can only do 100 SBC every six minutes, 60 minutes. So a lot of people think, oh, I'm SBC banned, how long am I banned for? Well, the answer is you're banned for the remaining time of one hour from when you first started doing SBCs. And the other limit, again, this isn't exact numbers, so the band may be longer, is let's say you manage to do your 2000 SBCs in, let's say you manage to do it in 20 hours. And now you're suspended for four hours. So what you'll see is there's completely different suspensions depending on, but these are the only two that exist. It's every 24 hours and every hour. So if it does say that SBC banned or if you struggle to do SBCs, it's because you've basically hit one of these milestones in which you either need to wait 24 hours from when you first started doing SBCs or one hour from when you first started doing SBCs. But it's nothing to worry about. You're not banned, you know. And what you can actually go and do is you can go and complete SBCs on the console just like normal or you can go and complete SBCs in the web app just like normal. It's just you can't do any more SBCs on the web app until the remaining time is it is over. Which, trust me, when you've been building like 100 SBCs in three minutes and you go back to doing SBCs on the console, it's barely even, you barely even want to do this. It's an absolute mick take. It's, it's so unfun. So what I will personally generally do is just do all the SBCs and then go, do you know what, that's me done for 24 hours. Oh, that's me done for the rest remaining of the 24 hours. I'll go and build them then because once you go using pale tools, building the SBCs on the console is just so unfun. There we go. This is this. The reason I've actually gone and made a tutorial, there are definitely tutorials out there, but I just didn't think they were as clear and as simple as this. So the reason we have made this tutorial is just so I have, one, somewhere to send my viewers to when I tell them how I make the SBCs fast, and two, I'd like to think hopefully we've made a more clear tutorial than others. Uh, do just drop any comments down below about any questions about how I did certain stuff. Uh, if I remember, I'll put links in the bio to uh, Tape Monkey and Pale Tools. Again, this is an absolutely amazing extension. And um, I mean, for casual users and both content creators, I think it's absolutely amazing. So that is that. Hopefully this has helped you. Again, drop any questions down below. That was just showing how good it is. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.